Hi, in this video we will cover the quantifier operators in link. Basically, if we want to compare multiple values, then you can go for the quantify operators. As here, you have the operators like all and any. All or any, they both will return a true or false value, means any boolean value, out of which in all, if all the uh, conditions are true, then in that particular case, means conditions which will be passing through the predicates, if all are true, then only the all operator will return a true. If you are going for any operator, then out of the, all the different predicates, if even one predicate is returning you the true, then in that particular case, any will return a true. So let's have a practical implementation of quantifier operators where we will see how the different operators like all, any and contain works. So now to understand the quantifier operators better, here I have taken a class called student inside which I have three properties that is id, name and marks. So id will be of integer type, name is of string type and a list of integer for the marks. So that if we have multiple subjects for a student, we can enter the mark for each subject. So here in the default.aspx.cs, I have created a method called getStudents inside which I have prepared the list of 5 students that is from 101 to 105, Alex, Chris, John, Ricky, Adam and the 5 subject marks. And at the end, I have returned the list of this student in the page load method in this collection called students. Now, I'll start querying from this particular collection. For that, from student in students, that is a basic syntax, where, now here you can see there is a quantifier operator all. So for here, what I have done is student.marks dot as queryable. So basically what it will do, it will convert the i enumerable into i queryable so that we can start making the query from that particular given list. So for the marks, marks which is itself a collection like thing, I am saying like for all. Here I am using all, m that is a parameter that is each marks of it out of the marks. So if each marks, each and every mark here is greater than or equal to 40, that is the condition that mark should be greater than or equal to 40, not talking about the single one but for all. Alright, so what it will do, if there is any student who has the score or marks less than 40 in any of the subject, then it will not be selected because as I said in the description earlier, all will return a true when all the elements will be satisfying the condition. So for example, here I have this uh, student Alex, which is not having 40 plus or 40 in all the subjects. Similarly, Chris has 40 plus in all subjects, uh, John has, but again, Ricky doesn't have in all the subjects. So in the output, what all I will get is the Chris, John and Adam because Adam also has 40 plus marks. So let's execute that. Select student means I am get, uh, retrieving all the fields from the collection and then after I will just show the details in the grid view which I have already taken in this particular page. So let's execute this page. So as here you can see, Chris, John and Adam, 101 and 104 are not in the list. So this is how you can work with the all operators. Similarly, if I will put any in place of all, then the story will be changed because if any of the marks is greater than 40, it will take it. So obviously, Alex and Ricky also have the 40 plus marks in at least one subject. So that's why all the records are here. But if I will do the changes here in the marks, let's say I'll make it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Alright, so now for Adam, none of the marks is greater than 40. So when I'll execute, I will not find Adam, that is 105, in the output list. So this is how you can start working with the quantifiers operator.